Hi, it's welcome to DonnellyCastle.com, and this is part six of my forging a sword tutorial. And in this part, I remake the pommel. Um, in the last video, part five, you know, we talked a lot about the handle and the pommel. And for, for the most part, people weren't really happy with this pommel that I made out of ebony. And they're right. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and made a new pommel. This one out of brass. And I like this in that how it matches the guard. So it's kind of nice. I mean, you know, I still have more work to do on this, but I just wanted to show you that. <clears throat> And I'll show you a little bit of the process of how I made that and how I assembled it. Um, I started out, I was going to do a steel one, which kind of looks good too, but the brass, I love the brass because it matches. So what I got is I got a two inch thick rod of steel and brass, and I sliced off a piece like this. Three quarters of an inch thick to match the handle. And then I drilled a hole in the, I put a flat on it. You know, I put a flat on it so it would match. And then I um, <clears throat> uh, beveled it a little bit, polished it a little bit, and then I drilled holes. I drilled a hole so the um, <clears throat> the tang can fit right into it. So I'll show you a little bit of that in this process, but kind of easy, basic, but looks good. This is much. I think this is much better than the other one. So that's part six, uh, the pommel of the sword. And um, I love the weight of it now. Having a little bit of counterweight like that makes a difference. It feels a lot better. So let's launch into the tutorial. So I'll show you a little bit about how I made that. All right, so let's take a look at the quick look at the assembly of the sword. The guard goes on, the handle goes on, and then our pommel would go like this. And this is um, before I've actually made it. And there's the two inch, two, two inch diameter rod of uh, steel. And then that can go on there. That's what I originally was intending. See? So you cut a hole in it and mount that pommel on there like that. But I did get some brass and that's much better. I, I just like the look of it. So that will go on there right like that. So let's go ahead and do it. Let me show you how I did it. I, I, um, I used a belt sander and a file to um, get a flat on that pommel right? so it'll fit against the handle. See that flat. And then <clears throat> There's a nice bevel all the way around the pommel on both sides, so I use the file to get that angle bevel in there. And that's another nice look too. I use some uh, emery paper to finish it off somewhat. I will do more polishing at the very end of the sword making. But for now I just use some emery paper, about 400 grit. Now <clears throat> I marked and drilled um, a couple of holes so the tang of the sword will fit into that pommel. Took a while, took some work, I had to work at it. Anyway, once I had that all worked out right, here we go. That's it, that's the new pommel. There's the, the, the slot cut in it. So it's the guards, the handle. You can see that old pommel there up top there, the black one. And then the pommel. And that's it, I will pin that too. I'll drill a hole in it and pin it with a brass pin. So it stays strong. So, <clears throat> that's the new pommel. I like it. Leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think. This sword is moving along. I will be finishing this project up pretty soon. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. I appreciate the patience. Um, lots more stuff. Blacksmithing stuff. Sword making, knife making. On my website, stormycastle.com. And here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.